Hey guys, I wanted to provide just a few quick instructions for today's assignment. So um, this is kind of a digital lab that we are going to do if we were in class. Um, sometimes we do this under the microscope, but actually sometimes it's easier to do it just looking at the images because the microscope's a little hard and you lose your place. Um, sometimes but we are going to look at microscopic images of cells in mitosis in onion root tip cells um and so this page you should have it in your binder it shows you the major stages of the cell cycle so you've got interphase prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase in interphase notice that you still see um sorry let me change my pen color here you see the nucleus that is still, um, that's the cell. So the nucleus is right here. That's still intact. It hasn't started to break down yet. Okay. And so that's definitely an interface. This is a little bit of a later interface. That's going to be an interface. Um, I'm trying to see in any of these other pictures. I don't really see any other real obvious um, interfaces there. Um, but that's interphase. Prophase is the next stage. And so you don't see that nucleus because the nucleus has started to break down, but you have chromatin. You can't see really defined chromosomes yet. Okay. So that is prophase. Um, just looking at some more, you know, that's probably a prophase. This is probably a prophase. Um, that's probably a prophase. Um, and then in metaphase, uh, metaphase is usually pretty easy to pick out. You have chromosome structures there and they're all lined up together in the middle. Okay. Anaphase, you have the chromosomes that are beginning to pull apart. Now, some of them may appear more or less apart than these do, but that would be anaphase. And then telophase, here's one cell. Okay. Um, so this has got a cell wall, so that's kind of why it's, it's squarish looking because it's a plant cell, an onion root tip cell. And um, you see the two new cells that are starting to form yet. Now, we don't have cytokinesis or anything like that yet going on, but this is the nucleus starting to reform in what will be two new cells. Okay, and that's telophase. So you will have some images if I can find them, um, of an onion root tip that you are going to use. Here we go. Um, images very similar to those that I just showed you. They'll be these. And you have to count a um, hundred of them. So there's several cards here that you can do. It doesn't matter which cards you pick. If you get to counting and you're just counting and counting and tallying, you'll probably maybe want to get a scratch sheet of paper and kind of tally as you count. Um, if you go over to 104, that's fine. It doesn't matter. You just need to get um, 100 at least. So, um, you know, if you have somebody there at home that can tally while you count, that's going to make it a lot easier that you can just sit there and say, Inter where's my pen? Um, I can't draw on this one. Interface, interface, interface. And somebody can tally while you say those as you go down the row and read them. That's going to help you out a lot. Okay. Um, if you don't have that to do, then you'll just kind of have to tally for yourself. But you got to count a hundred of them. And then you'll go back to that um, other assignment page. Here we go. And um, you have a few questions to answer. So the visible features in each face. And then you're going to put in your total. So how many out of 100 you counted? If you counted over 104, that's fine. Just change your total to, you know, uh, um, however many you total you counted. And then calculate the percent, okay? And then the next part is, um, if you look at step three, it says... Um, generally, the time for mitosis to occur is 720 minutes, which is 12 hours. It takes the cell 12 hours to divide, okay? So, you have to figure out basically your percentages and multiply that by 720 minutes. So, it wants to know how much of the time is spent in interphase, prophase. How many minutes does it take the cell to go through interphase, to go through prophase, etc. Okay. 
And so you'll come up with your time there. And then once you do that, you'll order the stages from the shortest, the longest, which one takes the longest, which one takes the shortest. And then just a few more questions um, about cell division and about this lab. So that's your assignment for today. Um, hopefully it should be pretty straightforward and easy. Just counting those is a little bit tedious and definitely the, the hardest part of this lab. But should you have any questions about it, let me know and I'm happy to help you out. You have a great day.